Well, good morning to you. Welcome back to Chevy with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? So, uh, Sunday morning, Shave. Yep, for church. And Ray, bless his heart, has been asking for a scuttle shave because kind of a bowl shave, and for some reason he gets a kick out of the fact that I bowl shave every once in a while. But uh, that's my only exception to the bowl lather rule is using a scuttle so I got nice warm uh, lather. Thought I had a hair floating around my coffee. It wouldn't. Alright, so today <clears throat> Ray's going to get his wish. I told him I'd get him a scuttle shave very soon and this is very soon. Anyway, we're going to use the, uh, this is an Ever Ready 200 that's been reunited with a uh, golden nib silver tip badger. Did that several years ago, and it works good. So, I've got my Dirty Bird Scuttle, and what you can't see, because I'm not going to move the foam, because it just kind of sits up in the rail of the uh, medicine cabinet here, is uh, I took the Scuttle, and I filled it with water, and I submerged it in while I was soaking my brush so that the Scuttle gets nice and warm. But that's the whole point of shaving with a Scuttle, is uh, the nice warm lather. So, we've got our Dirty Bird Scuttle. This is their one point five model the size and a half 1.5 she calls it very nice scuttle and uh so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the hot water going here and we're going to fill the bottom chamber once i get the hot water going we're going to fill the bottom chamber with hot water and what that does is it keeps the inner chamber which is the bowl nice and warm for the shave all right, so we're going to use Perazzo today, the uh, sandalwood, the red, which is a very nice cream in my opinion. I know some people are kind of meh about it, but I think it's a nice cream. And we'll put a little bit down in the bowl. It doesn't take a tremendous amount. We're not, you know, ice in a cake. Don't need no buttercream. And for the razor today, since we're doing auto strops, I looked over and the A1 was ready to go. It's got a modified pile super blade in it. Now, if you want to know how to uh, modify a gem blade to go in these, I'm going to do one of those probably tomorrow, but it's going to be on the original Safety 2 channel. Uh, we're going to put it up over there with uh, Ordinary Shaver's videos he's been doing. But I'll show you how to modify the blade, take the spine off, clip the blade, how it loads, and then do a shave with, a, I think I've got a VC1 that I'm going to use for that. And uh, we'll get all that, all that done for you. So we're just uh, going to work yourself a lather here in the, in the scuttle. Not that much to it, but it'll be nice and warm. And there's just something really nice about a warm lather. If I wasn't so much a face lather, I'd use the scuttle a lot more. I like a good warm lather. But, uh, so I've been saying I'm going to do it, and I'm still saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a brush scuttle, and then I can have nice and warm. It's just a, it's a lot narrower. So you, when you're face lather and you take your brush and you put it down in the, the brush scuttle, and it keeps the lather on your brush warm between passes and stuff. And then you can also, uh, have it warm before you start loading and everything so that's going to be something we're going to uh we're going to be using so nice warm perazzo lather very nice oops i forgot to uh wipe my face down before i started well we're not gonna worry about it today just so happened i got out of the shower not too long ago i'm sure it's fine not that big a deal Used to, I thought prep was one of the biggest things in the world. Now, yeah, not so much. All right. So here we go. I'm thinking. I am thinking. Oh, I will need to rag in a minute. So we'll grab it and close that. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, this is like the second shave on this blade. On about a, I don't know, two day growth or so. Almost two days. I didn't work yesterday. And I had already checked the razor to make sure the blade was nice and straight. Oh, love a pile super blade. I 
I think it's basically the same blade as the treat and all the rest of them it's just got that blue coating on it the blue coating will not keep it from rusting at all you still have to dry them off but it's just cool looking it's one of my favorite blades unfortunately they're getting really hard to find now oh talk about finding blades for those of you that are members of toast there will be a picture up today sometime i found yesterday an absolute treasure chest of treat blades there is a whole section in this little grocery store I went to. And it's got 10 blade vaults. And it's got the 5 packs. And they're just all piled into this section. Now, what I'm thinking is maybe it's the last of what they have. And they're just getting them all out to get rid of them. I'm going to go back by today and help with that, by the way. And uh, But it was just, I almost had a heart attack yesterday. I've got a bunch of treat braid five packs, so I didn't buy any yesterday, but I am going back today. I'll be back that side of town, and I'm going to buy some treat blades up and put them up, and uh, I've already got a couple of folks that's asked me to pick some up for them and send them to them, but anyway, so that'll be up on Toast later today. If you're not a member of Toast, you can still pop over and you know, look at it as a guest. We should just shine up with us. We're nice people. Bunch of, uh, you know, razor freaks over there, if that's your kind of people. It's all right. All right, so we're going to come across on our second pass. Lather's still nice and warm. During the between the, the shave, you would keep your, your brush and all in your lather here, and then you run your lather around the sun. The bowl's still good and warm. And, uh, you know, I can't tilt it too much because it's got water in it, but you can see you still got plenty of, there's plenty of good lather down in there, and it's nice and warm. Some people say the heat hurts lathers. Uh, maybe that's true with some soaps. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever tried to use a cream that, that didn't, uh, didn't work okay. You could do the, use a scuttle like this with your soaps too. Load your soap on your brush and then take it to the bowl. You could, you know, that's your thing. You could do it. Don't know why you'd want to, but hey, if that's your thing. All right. So there we go. That's our two lather passes. And it's almost tempting because of all that nice warm lather left in the bowl over there, the uh, bowl of the scuttle. It is almost tempting to go back and do a third lather pass just because. And you could. But, you know, I got church here in a little while, so I got to go ahead and be moving on. And I'm just going to stick to my normal routine. Get all the rizzo washed off here. Very nice slick cream. I like it as a parazzo. If you live near a, uh, which store is it? The Body Shop? I think it's the Body Shop. They sell, uh, uh, you see now I've gone completely mine did the bigelow cream in the green tube and that's just rebranded perrazzo green so if you live near a body shop i believe is the right one uh, a lot of those sell sell that now the last time i went to the one here in baton rouge over at the uh mall of louisiana they didn't carry it but uh it could be they just didn't have it in at the time and the young lady that was that was selling things didn't know anything about it but anyway it wasn't there and i haven't been back in a little while well it doesn't do a whole lot of mall shopping I don't like people. I don't like being around people. If I'm not at work, I don't want to miss it. So I very rarely go to the mall. But I'd go check on that. So maybe I'll do that here for long. I'll get an off day and get a wild hair and go 
check on this. All right, so we're going to do our normal cleanup stuff. Front of the ears over here. I think I already got the goatee cleaned up pretty well. No, not on this corner. That's the thing about the, uh, the witch hazel. You can feel pretty good what you need to clean up. Look at that in front of this ear. Fuzzy is in dire need of a haircut. I went yesterday, but I was too late getting to the barber shop. So I'll have to go in the morning. When I go to the post office, because I've got some stuff that's got to be mailed off to folks tomorrow. So there we go. So hopefully by the next video, and it may be Tuesday before I get the, uh, the video up on the original safety tube with trimming the treat blade to use in the uh, auto struts. Maybe Tuesday before I get there. We'll see where it goes on. There we go. Knocking stuff over as usual. Well, there's too much stuff out here. So auto strop A1. Really good stuff. Easy to use. Does a good job. And look. It's just a beautiful razor. It's got the gear and everything on it. The A1, uh, the handles didn't detach. They were built in. So uh, that's just how it was. And instead of having the lever on the back, you know, you had the button to push that slid the that slid the, the guard forward. That's how you got the, the top to flip open to put the blades in and stuff. Uh, the neat thing about the A1 and also the A2, I've got one of those, is that uh, you can use the modified blades in them. You don't have to have the, the feather blades with the cutouts in them. So they're, they're, uh, they're good in that way also, that you can just modify a regular blade, take spine off of it, clip it. I'll show you how. And uh, you're back in business to shave. You don't have to worry about those to shave and out um, feather things. Although they do get really good shave for those two shaves, especially the first shave. It's just phenomenal in one of those. Phenomenal. So we're going to use Stetson today. Just because I'm a fan of Stetson. My mom always liked men wearing Stetsons. So I did around her. And I like Stetson. This is the cooling moisture from uh, picking up at Walmart. It's got a nice little moisturizing feel to it. Not that I worry too much about moisturizing, but, you know, hey, some people do. So there we go. So, look, I hope y'all have a great Sunday. I'm going to go out and get my day started. My day rarely starts before noon anyway, so uh, no exception. It's, uh, I don't know, 9.30ish now probably. So, you know, we're going to get going. And life is going to be good. Y'all have a great day. Wherever you are. Hope you're enjoying the shades. Is there something you'd like to see? Ray posted he wanted to see the scuttle shave. There you go. You know, folks wanted to see the, the Valet Auto Strops. We're running through Valet Auto Strops. Is there something I've got, something you've seen, something you want to see that you think I might be able to help with? Hook it up. You want to see a certain soap, aftershave, razor, knock it out. Let me know in the comments or pop over to Toast. I'm over there too. You know, that's the way it goes. The Original Safety 2, all one word, the Original Safety, the number 2.com. And that'll get you to us. And we'll be happy to see you over there. Y'all have a great day. And uh, happy shades to you.